The unbelievable bloodbath at Walmart during their shareholders meeting was just incredible. I mean, why would you have shareholders when you don't even want to listen to them? What are they there for? Just for somebody to talk to and share the wealth with? I don't know. What you're going to find out in this video is very shocking. Appalling, actually, if you really want to sit back and think about it. When Walmart had their annual meeting this year in 2023, their shareholders meeting and everything else, you know, it's a big celebration. They bring in these bands and everything else, you know, it's a whole nine yards. But at the shareholders meeting that takes place basically before the party begins, the shareholders presented proposals on the risk of doing business with China. They had concerns about maybe um, getting the products here, about maybe also with some of the um, things that are going on in China, you know, the sweatshops and things of this nature. They had questions on the executive compensation you know, how people are being paid, how much they're being paid compared to workers and everything else. And uh, uh, human rights, they had questions on human rights. You know, they proposed, you know, they wanted some changes done with human rights, racial equality. You know, I mean, they wanted something to do with that. Now, these are the shareholders of the company. OK, but, you know, I mean, these are the questions that they brought forth and proposed to Walmart um, workplace safety. And violence, you know, there's been so many guns, uh, shootings at different Walmarts throughout the country. You know, a lot of their workers and stuff, they feel, you know, kind of scared to go to work sometimes because, you know, everything happens at Walmart. But in the end, you know, the good old company, they just shut them right down. And you're going to hear why here in a minute. And who is really behind all this? Now we jump forward. You ask, well, who are these shareholders then? All right, so you got, as you can see on your screen right now, you have the Walmart Enterprise and Walmart Family. Well, those are the two top ones, right? I mean, come on. You got the Vanguard Group. You also have uh, Geo Capital Management, LLC, Norges Bank Investment Management. You have James Carr Walton. You know, I mean, yeah, he's just a, another family member here that's got a lot of shares you have fidelity management and research company llc managed account advisors llc t row price we all know who t row price is we've seen those commercials right i mean come on columbia management investment advisors llc the real problem here is is this statement there were nine proposals bought by shareholders were not approved. Walmart advised its shareholders in a proxy filing to vote against outside proposals. The proposals dealt with more equity and pay across the company, more disclosures into the company policies and procedures on re reporting human rights issues discrimination in hiring and firing based on race and sex, changing bylaws on how directors are chosen, also, and more clarity on how Walmart plans to protect privacy on reproductive health choices of customers now that abortion has been criminalized in many states. Unbelievable, right? So these people can't even vote on this or bring this stuff up because guess what? It's very easy for them to do. We jump down here to the next one and it says it's easy for Walmart to block proposals brought by outside shareholders. Given that the board executives and Walmart family members control more than 50%. Surprise, surprise, right folks? Of the outstanding voting stock, the Institutional owners of Walmart shares include the Vanguard Group at roughly 4.6%. Here's the other one that wasn't mentioned in the other one there was the shareholders. That wasn't on the main stock page, but BlackRock Fund at 2.39%. Seems BlackRock is in just about everything. Hmm. SSGA Funds at 2.23%. Walmart is one of the most widely held common stocks traded on the New York Stock Exchange, 
with 2.696 billion shares. Outstanding. Just a little bit amazing, isn't it, folks? But they had something to celebrate. They had, after they shot down everything, they, they canned all the shareholders' ideas and questions and everything else, and they told them to shut up and sit down. They call the shots just like they do when they're out there. And, you know, I mean, and they're buying up goods and stuff for pennies on the dollar, and they turn around and sell them to us for 40, 50 bucks, you know? And here's your proof. The shareholders had a positive news to celebrate. And that's where all the big bands came in and the party hats went on and everything else. For the fiscal year of 2023, Walmart reported a record revenue of $611.3 billion, up 6.7% year over year. Now, you ask yourself, where do you want to go shopping at? They got you, right? Because Walmart gets all the stuff. I know a lot of people say they don't shop at Walmart. But somebody's shopping at Walmart because they just turned a $611 billion profit in one year. I think there's a lot of people shopping at Walmart and they just don't care what they're doing to their employees. They don't care about the safety of their employees. They don't care what they're paid. They don't care about any human rights. You know, they don't care about anything. All they care about is they can walk in there and pick up something for the cheapest price possible. And hopefully it lasts for more than a month. That's what you get when you buy cheap stuff. Just saying. Pays to shop around. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And you all really need to be paying attention to what's going on out here because guess what? Walmart's laughing all the way to the bank. And they're taking your money and you're funding all their projects. Just saying. And they don't even care what the shareholders say. They canned all their proposals. So what do you think? They don't care about us either. They're going to make money one way or the other fact of life till next time i hope you all stay safe keep prepping i'm survival preparedness for beginners catch you on the flip side